Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a bit of a DIY. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while now since I bought this nice purse. Um, I got it in a charity shop and it was only $1.99, um, which is a bit of a bargain. Um, and it looks brand new actually. And the reason I chose this purse is because I'm always on the lookout for things that I can make into journals or sketchbooks. And this kind of purse is ideal for it because it's not one of those ones that opens up and has all the different sections. It's just a simple wallet style one, which has the um, sort of flaps that open up where you put like your notes um, and then you've got your card um, sections. And it also has a zip section as well. So, as soon as I saw this, it says Fay London, and as soon as I saw this I thought this one would make an ideal um, journal. So, that's what I'm going to do today. Um, so, first of all I'll take this tag off. So I'm going to keep things as simple as I can with this DIY. Um, there is another video that I've got of mine um, where I give ideas for no sew, no glue and no staple sketchbooks, so do check that out um, to get more ideas as to how to make the book itself. Um, but of course you can use anything you want. You can use art paper to make a sketchbook or you can use smooth normal paper to make a journal. Whatever you want to make just, you know, go with what you want. So the items I'm going to be using today in this DIY are a cutting mat and knives. Um, the paper I'm going to use in this, um, I think I'm going to make a journal. The paper I'm going to use in this journal is a cream paper. And for the cover, you can, you can use any card that you like, but I've um, got a few um, nice pieces of uh, square cardstock with some nice sort of travel themed designs on. Um, so I'm going to choose from one of these, or I could of course make two books so that I've either got a spare or I could put both of them in there. But um, So that's going to be my cover. Um, I've also got something to make um, the binding holes with. So I've got a, a, a safe, um, not a safety pin, I've got a, um, a pin for a cork board here. Um, now this is good for making a hole, but in order to get the um, elastic or thread or whatever you're going to use um, through the hole, you are going to need to make the hole bigger. Um, now of course normally I use an awl um, to make my holes um, and it's actually, it starts off thin and then it gets thicker as it goes so you're able to push this all the way through and make a big hole so I will be using this but if you're um, using the safety pin you might have to make a few holes in order to make a bigger hole. Um, and to bind the book together, I'm going to use some um, hair bands, some hair elastics. Um, I don't really tie my hair up much, so when I find nice um, coloured hair bands in the shops, I buy them and I keep them for crafts. So I'm going to um, use one of these for the binding. And I might need a hair clip as well to help me pull this elastic through the hole. So let's get started. So I think I'm going to use this one as my first cover. Um, so of course I will need to cut my cream paper to the same size so that when we fold it all into a book, it's all going to fit together. Um, I should also mention that do you should check that your chosen card will fit into the purse. Um, as this is quite a small square, it fits in very nicely. And then you can imagine when it's folded over, it will make a book like so. But if you have a bigger piece of paper or card, for example, this is an A4 piece of paper. Um, and of course, if you try to slip that in, it's going to be too big. So you will have to trim down to whatever size you would like to make your book. In the case of my book, I need to cut my paper to this size, um, which you can do with scissors or you can do it with a knife, but I'm going to use my paper cutter that I've got. Using a paper cutter like this um, saves time and it also makes really neat cuts. So um, yeah, if you find one of these in the shops for a good price, they're definitely worth having. So now 
that I've got my sheets of cream card, uh, sorry, cream paper cut to size, I'm going to fold all of the pieces. Um, so what you might want um, to help with this, if you've got one, is a bone folder. Um, if you don't have one of these, it's not the end of the world, you can still do it without, but um, uh, something with a, a flat edge like a ruler might help. So I'm just going to start it off like so in the corner and then you use the edge of the bone folder just to push the rest down and it just makes it not have a nice crisp fold. Now I'm not going to worry too much about being precise with the paper because we can trim the sides afterwards. So I'm just going to fold them all at the same time. And that goes together like that. So before we trim the sides to be all neat, we want to bind it together. And so this is where we need to punch our holes. Now I'm not too fussed about having them, you know, precisely um, positioned. I'm not going to use a ruler. Um, so I'm just going to choose where I put them. I'm going to eyeball it basically. So I think I'm going to put one there and one there. Now being careful not to move it too much, I'm just holding it together so that I can push all the way through and I do a circular motion as well because I just want to make sure the hole is big enough for my elastic to go through. So making sure it's all lined up, I'm just going to do the same to the other one. So I'm just doing a bit of a circular motion, pushing it through, making sure the hole is going to be big enough. So next up we need to get our elastic. Now what I recommend doing with the elastic is um, cut it on one side of the metal bit and this way we can use this metal bit to push through um, the hole. Um, if you don't have a piece of elastic with metal on it, so if you're not using a, a hairband, you can use one of these hair clips to help you pull it through. So what you do is you just put the elastic onto the hairpin like so and then you push the hairpin through and as you pull it through it pulls your elastic through for you. Um, but hopefully I should be able to do it just with this elastic. What you can do if you need to is use the awl again um, to push through the other way and just wiggle it to make the hole a little bit bigger. go so I've got it through one side be careful not to pull it all the way through in fact this is the moment where you can take a second to just make a knot now one knot will probably do but you can use two knots if you want to make sure it really won't pull through but um, as you can see it's not going to come through now and then push through the other side and make yourself another knot now you do want to make sure that this next knot sort of goes quite tight so that you've got a nice secure binding and then you can just trim the ends off if you like. I think I will trim it all the way down. And there we have a little bound book and now we can just trim off the edges to make it make sure it's nice and neat so if you're using a craft knife you'll probably want a like a metal ruler because if you use a plastic ruler you'll probably end up cutting the plastic so all we want to do is line up to the edge of the cover 
and then we want to gently in a straight line keep going across until you've trimmed all the pieces and then you end up with a nice flat edge I'm going to trim the top and the bottom as well because my paper is coming out a little bit too far end seems okay to me. So let's just get rid of this rubbish and now if we bring my purse back in I can slot it in so you can choose you know which which bit that you use. If I use the back bit then I can still use this pocket um, and there we go. So I've just got a cute little journal now inside this purse and the handy thing with there being a zip compartment is that you can put some pens and pencils in there depending on the size of your purse um, you might not fit you know full length ones in but I've got these cute little gold it's a gold pen and a propelling pencil and this was a, just a little cheap set that I got from Tiger and I think that looks, you know, really smart with it. So I'm going to put those in there. Either you can put the stuff in the pocket there, or you could tuck it in here so that you can see them. And because it's a purse, which is designed obviously to hold lots of money or cards or what have you, you've got that room to, to fit this stuff in there. So, yeah, next time you're out and about um, shopping and you see a purse or a wallet like this, um, think about what else it can be used for. You don't have to use it as a purse, you can make your own personalised journal um, or sketchbook or anything you like. So um, I hope you found this inspiring and I'll see you next time.